Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and this is the full final release of XCOM 2. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to play XCOM 2 for a little while now before release, and I just want to say that that's because of support from you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you because without the support that you guys have given me in the past, I wouldn't be anywhere near the position I'm in to be able to do this kind of stuff. And uh, I just want to say thank you for that. Now, what I'm really excited about now is experiencing the story of XCOM uh, for the very first time with you guys. I've avoided all cutscenes, endgame missions, and I haven't read into any of the deeper logs that are kept at the Avenger. Uh, in addition, I've begun adding you guys to the character pool already, and if you do want to go ahead and send me your character, there's going to be instructions at the end of this video and in the description uh, below. So if you'd like to use uh, my character pool that's currently comprised of about a hundred soldiers, but I'm sure within the next couple of days, this is going to reach well into the three, four, maybe 500 range. Um, then I'll have a link below that will be regularly updated and you can uh, keep tabs on that. If you want my personal soldier, that'll be included in the link below as well. And I would be honored to be cannon fodder in your own playthroughs. I'll be playing this game on the newly balanced Legend difficulty with Iron Man enabled. And I've also enabled the mods that the Long War Studios guys put in. So there's an SMG with some trade-offs, uh, an upgraded enemy type that comes in uh, midway through the game, I guess. And an interesting class overlay focusing on leadership uh, that you can apply to certain soldiers. Uh, speaking of soldiers, there will be soldiers that definitely do die. Uh, but XCOM is not just about the soldiers who die. I always look forward to seeing which of you soldiers are going to rise to become the heroes of the campaign. And uh, before we get going here, I am going to roll the intro cinematic that sets up the story. I'm um, going to include all of the important story bits from the tutorial that you can't access on the Legend difficulty. And then we're going to head into our first mission. Afterwards, I'll introduce you to our new recruits. And uh, if you do want to skip the intro, which I wouldn't recommend because it's going to cover off like how the Avenger is up and running and why we're doing this. Uh, but if you do want to do that, feel free to click the overlay on the screen and you'll get right into the gameplay. So without further ado, here we go. of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Received. Loud and clear. 
Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Menace three, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Reinforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall them here. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close.
event security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Got it covered. Fire in the hole. Works for me. Almost there. Stay focused. This is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. We're coming home. Contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. 
Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander! Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Worth a look. We've got it. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Standing around. It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. The aliens need to know that we're serious. That we're ready to infiltrate the city centers and strike at their heart. To that effect, we're moving in to take out a high-profile target that will get plenty of people's attention, especially Advent. Move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces nearby. Thank you very much, Bradford. So, what have we learned so far? Bradford and company break us out of this, like, stasis tank. Uh, a codex shows up, which is really cool because that's something that we run into later and it's really powerful um there's a chip in the back of our head which is questionable at best and we've powered up the avenger so that's a pretty good start now uh we've got these four individuals that i'm looking forward to meeting so let's get down there and figure out just who you are i gotta say you look ready that gives me a little bit of confidence Minus 1-5. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Okay. So, let's meet our first four here. So, we've got, uh, Johanna Fire Loxley. That's, uh, fantastic. You, this is awesome, too. She looks really cool. Really cool. Uh, we've got Morbaris the Dog Skinner. I'm not sure if it's the Dog Skinner, or the dog is actually just the... Nickname on its own. Um, John the Pious Anais, I suppose. Anais. And Mayu Cannibal Polo. I like these guys. This is really cool. Where are you guys from? We've got a Canadian. This is awesome. 
German? Okay, let's let's do this, guys. I'm pumped now. This is the coolest part for me is like the fact that you guys are in here, and I'm gonna try to get as many of you guys as possible. Um, that to me is the that's XCOM. It's like who's gonna become the hero? I know there's gonna be a lot of zeros, but uh, who's gonna rise to the top? Now, this is this is actually a pretty decent position to come into. We we can get high ground up here on this little um, advent kind of mini tower, or we could work up this building. And I'm thinking we should use the building as much on as we can. Way. So let's set up that way. We don't have a turn timer to deal with. Um, we can try and set up in the best possible way. Rolling. Now. If, uh, if you've watched a lot of review or preview coverage in the past, uh, there are some significant changes. Uh, number one, all of the, the balancing regarding, like, enemy health, um, chances to hit, uh, build times at the base, healing times, all of that has been, uh, modified and changed on Legend difficulty. It's significantly increased, uh, um, things are much harder. Uh, but also, they've changed the ambush mechanic a little bit, and previously, the, the best way of, of handling the ambush mechanic was to location. actually let the advent soldiers um, find your soldier and uh, flank them, but doing so while you were on overwatch with your squad. So what would happen is, all of your guys would get an overwatch shot at the uh, advent, and... When that happened, um, it would come back to you for your full turn, so you essentially got two turns in a row. And they've changed that so that now, if, if you do that strategy, um, there will be a chance that the advent guys will just stop and shoot at the soldier that they flank, that they uncover. And your soldier's obviously out in the open at that point, and more than likely dead. So... It's, it's a really risky strategy Good copy. to Moving employ now. Okay, I was a bit worried that we came up here a little bit preemptively. There could be enemies up top, way. but... Oh, goes. We'll have everybody just... stack up on this window here. Enemy we do move. see some civilians down here, and uh, these little tattletales will run to their... advent... Um, companions, let's say. And they will tell those guys exactly where you are. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna actually send Loxley up here. This is probably gonna give us vision of something useful. Yeah, there we go. That's These incredibly guys useful. The Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. So these troopers are kind of like the equivalent of sectoids from the previous world, where they're not the smartest, um... Their chance to hit isn't the greatest, and although they do pose a threat, it's not something that you have to be, like, th that's not the scariest thing that we're going to run into, so. Um, let's go ahead and bring Polo Bevigo, up here. Bevigo. I am a bit concerned that our left side could be flanked, but I don't think they're going to cover enough ground to move all the way in. And then uh, we can bring Skinner over here, and let's bring John up a little bit. Hopefully they don't stray too far, because we've got a really good position on them here. Now they are going to move a bit. Okay, that's far enough, guys. That's pretty tough, actually. That's... That's pretty far. Uh, the nice thing is, is we can come down here, and we've got half cover, which is not, you know, it's not ideal. Um... But I'm thinking with the height advantage that we have, I really feel confident that we can finish these guys off, so... Let's, um... Let's bring Loxley down. She's gonna start this off with a grenade. As long as we don't have any Tattletales down here, and I don't think that we do. Heading there now. And... You've got a couple of ways of handling this. Um, depending on the situation, you could overwatch all of these guys and hope for the best. Uh, which isn't a bad scenario when we're all high ground like this, because you have significant aim bonuses. Um, but I like to keep at least one where I can react after the fact. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And I think we'll keep Cannibal here 
because he's closest to being able to run down here if we need to move into a better position. He's got a couple of options on this side. Um, he's got the grenade available. So let's overwatch uh, Skinner. Let's overwatch Aeneas. I got my eyes on. And we're gonna take our first attack here with Loxley. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna damage all three. This is gonna be fantastic. I have total belief in our brand new Here, squad. Catch. Oh, and she gets four damage on one. That's a beautiful way of starting. Let's see how the overwatches go. Oh, beautiful. Target down. Target neutralized. Okay. That couldn't have went any better. That could not have went any better. Great job, guys. And we've got three early promotions. So now we just gotta spread the love around the polo. I say that like it's so easy to do, but truthfully, it's not. I kind of want to send Loxley in here, but I'm a bit concerned that she gets caught out on her own. Um, we could always bring her back and kind of set up a, a bit of an overwatch trap from high ground if we really want to, but let's not send her too far out. Let's bring Skinner down to the car and see if we can get anything. That's where we need to plant the charges. And now we want to be Moving progressing to pretty position. carefully here because, yeah, because that can happen. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. So, um, we don't have any high ground shots from here, unfortunately. Um, we can bring Polo down into full cover and have a shot on him. It's not going to be great. I'm thinking that's probably our first good bet. Let's bring him down. Forty-six, not bad. Could certainly be better. Uh, but I'm okay taking this. We've got decent cover. 50-50-ish. Oh. Yep, this squad's great. Find Oscar shouted. Really digging this squad. Now I just gotta make sure we get them all out of here alive. That's gonna be the mega the, the major challenge. Okay. Aeneas, I'm gonna bring you down Move here. Target location. These sectoids, they really like to prioritize using some of their psionic abilities. Um, maybe trying to panic or raise the dead, which is something that they can do surprisingly this early Scanning. and this effectively. Uh, but if he happens to move into a more of a precarious position... Oh, really? He's freaking out! He's panicked. That's exactly what's happened. He's totally panicked. Now, I do not want to set off another group back here. That's my biggest concern right now. Um, so, let's bring Aeneas over Move here. Into 40%'s not bad, but I certainly think lighting this truck up with a sectoid in front of it is a pretty good idea. And then we can try to pin him with Overwatch. He's gonna have to move. Or we'll just blow it up right off the get go. That's a good option as well. It's gonna almost kill him. That doesn't always happen. That's a really uh, unique scenario. Okay, this is this is good. This is good. The question, though, is actually, is he burning? I couldn't. I didn't see if he was burning. If he is, he's gonna die here anyways. We don't have to expend anything, but he's not actually burning. Uh, we'd be able to tell he'd have some status effects that it would show us here. So I'm thinking we just pin him. Watch. With these two. We'll take the 48 here with Polo. Pretty good chances of it happening. I'll jinx 
reversed it completely. Well, let's see what he does now. Yeah, there we go. Come on now. Get him. Oh, no. Don't let him regroup with his buddies. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright. So. He, um... That's not good. Because what he's done is he's gone to find another group. And that is terrifying. Um, but let's see. Let's let's work towards there. We do have these pillars here that we can utilize for full cover. The nice thing is, is this truck's already blown up, so we can use that as well um, pretty reliably. Uh, where's our grenades? We definitely want to have our grenades up in the front. Heading out. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Oh, did you... What just happened there? Nothing just happened. Okay. We're going to panic music for no reason. Polo, come up and provide some additional support here. Verstanden. Rücke aus. Let's see if they get brave and he decides to bring his buddies back here. No, he didn't. Okay, and I asked to the truck. There we go. Now this is a dangerous group. Seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay. We have options. We have decent options. We've got a grenade that can probably hit those guys, but I just don't know if we can get close enough. We have to worry about this guy rotating around here. Potentially setting up a flank. But the goal is to kill that officer. And I'm even okay leaving the sectoid alive. Speaking truthfully. This is a nice shot here. We have a nice flank. It's from far enough back. Um, this would probably be a flank as well, but we have more kind of within our view. I'm going to take Polo back He's here and go for the flank on the officer instead. Let's go. Come on now, Polo. Come on now. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I am tempted to move Anias, but where am I gonna where am I gonna put him? I may as well just utilize the full cover that's there. Headed there now. Let's bring Skinner in. Let's try and get the kill with Skinner, because then we can kind of pull him back if we need to. Not quite, hey? I got nothing. I'm okay, who's going to be the I? hero? I'm just really cautious about this half cover. As you can imagine. And then over here, I'm worried that he comes down here and tries to flank us. I don't think he can make it over here for a full flank, but it's pretty close. Moving on target location. Got to make a call. The officer needs to die. Not even close. Come on now. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what they bring. Being aggressive. Duck! Okay. Well, the officer has a couple ways of operating. They can move and then target. They can move and shoot. They can target and then they can shoot if they don't want to move. Um, but the, the tough thing here is that now that he's marked, these guys are getting uh, pretty big bonuses from that. Oh god, stay down. Wow. Is that all you got? Blowing up that truck earlier 
has paid off immensely. The sectoid's fallen for our trap. And now we're actually in a pretty decent position. I think their base aim, I want to say, is around 70-ish, the troopers. So even though we're marked, we've got the full cover, which is significant. No for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. And uh, thankfully, we were able to avoid getting hit there. Now, yes, he's mind controlled. Uh, but if we kill the sectoid, the mind control is taken care of. Um... This is where we want to use our grenades. We've got to kill the officer. First and foremost. What I would like to do is see if we can't... ...move up just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, we can't quite blow any of that cover. But we can guarantee a kill on the officer, which I think is a good plan. Then dash! Okay. One down. I think we should bring fire around this side, stay in full cover. Have a flank on that sectoid. Come on now. There it is. Any drop loot. Gonna need to reload soon. Takes care of the zombie. We've got okay chances here. And the only thing that we don't have. Guaranteed kill. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring Skinner. I want to bring him back far enough where this guy's chance of hitting are pretty slim. Let's Understood. bring him over here. Moving out. I'm gonna throw the grenade. Heads down. we go. Now he's flanked. And we we'll bring John. Come on, buddy. Yes. Good job, squad. Enemy down. Now let's see what this last Come guy does. Uh, I don't think so. Stay on the beschuss. Biggest thing against these troopers is just full cover. <laughs> Fire spreading! I know that seems uh, pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised. Okay, I think what we do here is we move in really aggressively and just take the shots that we can to try and take them out. Position confirmed. 62. Let's go, John. Start here. Start strong. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't get it. I'm out of firepower over here. Okay, let's bring Loxley Could back here for the flank. Now. Beautiful. Okay. Things Area worked out pretty secure. well there. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. So cool thing about XCOM two is you can actually oh nice an Illyrium core. Um, you can actually path around different obstacles that you may run into, like the fire there. Uh, we could avoid that. Let's put Skinner confirmed on the move. up and get him ready to launch that's or that's plant the charges. Time, I, I should say. Okay, let's do this. Menace 1-5, rendezvous at the extraction point. 
Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. So I'm really happy with the, the fact that these guys didn't get hit. Um, from those troopers, even if we do get hit, we're usually going to survive at least one attack. Um, but we didn't hit very much either. Like, only 50% of our shots were successful. So we got a few things to work on, hey, squad? They all feel pretty good, though. I feel pretty good. It's a good start. Everybody contributed in a meaningful way. Now, let's go back to base and get things started. Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when we ace a mission like that. Yeah, that feels good. So let's see what kind of promotions these guys get. They're all promoted. They've all contributed heavily. Let's start with Loxley. Just like it oh, sounds, a sniper. Beautiful. our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and uh, Polo, what's your role? Oh, fitting. Serving as our demolitions experts, <laughs> the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Very fitting. Okay, congrats. Uh, we've got Skinner up next. Operators Specialist, I like it. Advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. You notice how the drone patterns match the gun? I think that's a really cool touch. That makes you the our ranger. ranger. Serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. I dig I dig his look. This is cool. Very cool. So Illyrium cores are great. Uh, these small self-contained samples of Illyrium are used to power the aliens' beam weapons. We could use them to power a variety of advanced weapons, armors, and munitions. So once we eventually build a proving ground, uh, we can use that to get uh, experimental ammo, labs. grenades, heavy weapons, things like that. Um, let's go in and start the, our research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. At least our priorities are aligned. So let's start with some new research here. Um, early on, we've got three options. Modular weapons, hybrid materials. Uh, this provides a little bit of extra uh, defense or health, I should say in the form of like a nano scale vest. Um, then we've got alien biotech, which lets us start to research different alien types. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab modular weapons because it's an upgrade that all of our soldiers can use early on and we can start using things that we find in the field to um, bolster our weaponry, uh, be it scopes or laser sights, repeaters, things like that. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. 
Okay, you got the it. The resistance is slightly more organized than I had imagined based on the rumors. But it still sounds like they'll be relying heavily on us to handle both strategic and tactical engagements with the aliens. Hopefully their network of contacts will, at the very least, provide us with valuable insights into advent movements and positioning. There's been plenty so of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. <laughs> what Tygen is, is kind of alluding to is the fact that we're going to need to make contact with these resistance cells to get word on where the advent is going at all times. And that's kind of the overall, like, um, how the geoscape works and how we're going to navigate the globe. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Rover. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He, he would to like to show me around lot. engineering, that's about it though. You can be <laughs> sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. So, uh, Dr. Shen from XCOM Enemy Unknown is, um, well, he's no more, and this is his daughter, um, who's very capable in her own right. But now begins the battle between, do we want to fund research, do we want to fund engineering? Um, personally, I think it makes sense to, to try and find engineers as early as possible, but we don't have total control There's over that. There's room so. for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Yeah, and we don't have any engineers currently, uh, so all we can do is start to build a facility in this empty spot. Uh, I'm definitely going to start with Guerrilla Tactics School. That opens up a lot of options for us as we advance. It's going to take 28 days. Right away, Commander. Which is pretty significant. I'll send word when it's up and running. We noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue. But now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. So, uh, I'm just kind of looking around the base here to see who's hanging out and where, and oh, hello, who's that? Let's go check our armory and see uh, which other soldiers we have back at base. So, uh, we've got Mayu Polo, Johanna Loxley, uh, Morboris Skinner and John Aeneas, who we've uh, met previously. We've got Samantha Singer Reed, who's also Canadian and uh, dressed in red, which is appropriate. I like that. Uh, Nora Wild, who is dressed um, uniquely, to say the least, but uh, I like her flair. I like her flair. You look like a specialist to me. We'll see what happens with you. Uh, Sebastian Zawadski is here. Major Beard, and probably a Chronic Smoker. Uh, we've got Grelite. This is great because uh, Grelite was the hero from Enemy Unknown, uh, my very first playthrough with him, and really happy that he's showing up here actually because um, it's just it's a very cool sentiment. This is this is freaking awesome. Uh, the one thing I'm going to do, oh, I can't do this. Later on, I'll change his tattoo. Uh, from pink to to white uh, And then last but not least we have Robert oldtimer loose and This is cool because part of the uh, resistance uh, DLC that you get when you pre-ordered uh, XCOM 2 they're gonna give you this uh, soldier that harkens back to the days of enemy unknown and this is the only soldier that can wear this gear this is uh, the old style XCOM gear and he has this uh, 
this um, hairstyle. And this overwrites any of the previous stuff that you've done with this soldier. So if you're Robert Luce, somebody sent me this file, and uh, Robert, you're now uh, very special. So I'm excited to see what you can get done. Uh, we also have the ability to look at recruiting soldiers. We've got uh, Ruben Vega, Ines Verhoeven, uh, Martin Gloud, this is uh, Quill18 from YouTube, and Rue, Naomi Russell, Saradimi Teku, Els Weiss, uh, Polina Volkova, Tom Andromeda, and Guang Zhu. So, very cool. Who do we want to hire here? Do we want to hire anybody right now? We probably could. See who stands out. They're all so cool. Let's actually, let's see. Well, let's make a, a hiring decision that makes sense when we need it. Uh, for now, let's head to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding area. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped nice. us off to a site that may be worth investigating. So you get these random uh, starting objectives that you can go and check out. These are called rumors. Uh, the resistance will say, hey, we've heard that there's this thing going on, and you can go and check it out. Um, it's always guaranteed. The reward's always guaranteed. It just takes time to investigate. Um, but what's great about this is we got it right away, and... Um, we don't have to waste time scanning at the base. Um, the other thing of note is that our supply drops, which is our, our income, comes every 22 days. And uh, once that happens, we have to go and we have to scan that location to get our income. And, uh, and then we can also hire uh, new soldiers and recruit people, uh, get scientists, engineers that way. So yeah, this is good. And you can increase your income by growing your contacts and, and spreading out. And building uh, these radio towers. So, yeah, let's go get these supplies. New course. It's a good start. Gives us a little extra cash. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Strategic resource located. Beautiful. Beneath the looming statue of an elder, we notice an overgrown security checkpoint placed at the intersection of two roads. After further inspection, the corpse of an Advent security officer was discovered slumped over the small desk inside. Our engineers swept the site and recovered a number of useful system components. I'll take it. Oh, nice. Okay. So now, uh, we've got another rumor, and we can go and investigate for Avenger a chance of getting these course. rookies. Shouldn't say a chance. I just don't know that we'll have five full days to scan before some other action happens. But this is nice because as you saw, interesting discoveries, Commander. hiring rookies is uh, not cheap. So, uh, modular weapons is done. Uh, we can do new research into mag weapons, which is your kind of your, your start of your tier two weaponry. Uh, and then now we can use weapon upgrades that we find in the field. Um, for even more firepower. <laughs> the troops will like that. Yes, they will, Lily. Thank you. Okay, so what do we want to go into next? Uh, as you can see, magnetic weapons take 63 days. That's an extremely long time. Um, but I think early on it makes sense to go into alien biotech. There's a few research uh, projects that will help um, and autopsy type things that we can do that will be really beneficial. So let's start Alien Biotech. I assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. And let's head back into the Geoscape. Commander, as the right, resistance continues here we go. to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. 
So now, um, oh, this is cool. Uh, so our reward, if we're successful here, is uh, an engineer, which is really helpful. Uh, and this is Joe Vargas' an Angry Joe, actually. So I'd be honored to have him um, as an engineer. This is a hacking mission, so we definitely want to take our specialist so that we can hack from range. Um, and the other thing is we can take a look at the, uh, the SMG mod that, uh, that we've added from the Long War Studios guys. Okay, so let's bring in Polo. Let's bring in our specialist. Let's bring in our ranger. And I think we should bring on another rookie. So let's go with the next in line. That's Samantha Reed. And let's take a look at the... at the SMG. So the SMG is unique because uh, what it's going to do is increase your mobility so you can cover more ground you can get around a little bit quicker uh, but your damage is reduced so it's two to four damage instead of the three to five from the assault rifle and your clip size is reduced so it's three shots instead of four um, however i still think it's value add and putting this on our specialist early on could be really helpful um, because if we need to get in range of the hack then we can do so so let's go with the smg on Skinner here, and we'll go ahead and customize that back to roughly what you had before. Um, I think you might add something crazier. But let's go with Classic 2 for now. SMG's really shiny, actually. Uh, and then, other than that, I think we're pretty much set up here and good to go. I'm not going to put an SMG on too many people, I don't think. Uh, so we'll stick with what we have, but let's go ahead and change your weapon color. And let's switch out your shotgun color. The other cool thing we can do is... We can take a look at the resistance gear that's available to us. And then we'll just make a change to the Grenadier here. Let's go... Let's keep it dark here. Let's go classic. Subtle. Very subtle. Um, but yeah, what we can do, and maybe for uh, our rookie here, Miss Singer, we can actually change her armor to Resistance Warrior Kevlar armor. And uh, I think that's pretty, like, that's awesome. That's really cool. But it goes further than that because you can actually change um, the overall look. And this is way different than what we had act, um, available to us previously. Here's that uh, XCOM armor, that old school armor, if we want to use that. I like that you can just, like, throw them in a t-shirt. Um, so many cool options. Let's actually do that. No arm options there. Legs is the same. But then, uh, once we have armor patterns, we could probably change that up even further if we wanted to. We also have face paint. But I'm not going to switch her up too much. But uh, you definitely have a few options there. So, pretty cool. Anyways, uh, this is the squad we're going to take out to try and hack the computer. Uh, I'm really excited to try and get as many of you guys in here as possible. I'm definitely going to need to hire a whole bunch of rookies. And if you don't show up as a rookie, there's a good chance you show up as either an engineer, or a scientist, or a VIP that we need to rescue, or an enemy VIP that we need to take down. And uh, I'm excited to see who's going to become a hero. This is going to be fun. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye. you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters. 